Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be working on my dad's welding trailer. Uh, he built this back when he was about my age. We are going to be adding some stuff to make this more organized because right now, I'll show you all here in a second, but right now everything's just thrown in here. And uh, we are also going to be rewiring it and put, putting a new coat of paint on it. So let's get right to it. So the reason why we're going to be organizing this is because as you can see, everything is just thrown in here. We we use it every so often, mainly to build fence, but when we do, we just throw all our scraps and everything in here. So what we're gonna do is clean this out and then we'll start adding some stuff to make it a little bit more organized. So now that we have the welding trailer cleaned out, the next thing we are going to do is start putting some stuff in here to organize it. So what I'm thinking is on the back side of the oxygen and settling tank holder, we will weld a piece of flat strap that comes out and goes across so you can hang all your grinders on there and then weld some all threads down here on both sides so you can, uh, maybe not both sides, that side has that pipe on it so we probably can't do it there. But uh, weld some all threads on here so you can put your welding disc on it, or not welding disc, your uh, grinding disc, my bad. The next thing we will do is, we're not gonna do it probably in this order, but just what we're, we'll for sure do is, uh, we're gonna make a hook on here for the torch head so we don't break off the valves or anything. I just finished cutting and bending this piece of flat strap right here. This piece of flat strap is going to be welded to the back of the acetylene bottle holders. I'm also gonna be putting a, the all thread on this side. Um, Whenever I weld all that on, I'll show y'all. I just have to take the bottles out and we're not gonna do that tonight. The next thing to do is back here on the back of the welding leads, my dad wants me to weld another piece of flat strap back here so he can hang his other angle grinder back here whenever he's working. He usually uses that vise and this pipe holder. So whenever he gets it done, he just hooks it on the side right here and instead of it hooking on the side and being in the way or falling off, we'll hook it up here so it's out of the way. So let's get another piece of flat strap and go bend that one. It's been a little over a month now since that last clip, but the reason being is my dad's been using it a lot for uh, different kind of jobs. He's about to go back to more jobs, so I'm gonna squeeze this in and get this done for him real quick. But I have the all thread cut here. I have two pieces, that's what we're gonna weld on for the grinding disc. And then I have this little U that I bent and this little L I bent, and that's gonna hold the torch. But the first thing we're gonna do is weld on the angle grinder bracket behind the, bo the bottle holder. So be welded there. And then I'm gonna weld the all thread right here and one right here. So let's get right to work. So I know it's a little loud, but the next thing we're gonna do is weld on the little hooks on this piece of plate right here. And that's gonna hold the torch, which is laying down there on that spool. So I'm gonna start welding. So I just finished welding on the torch hooks where you hook your torch on. Now I'm going to weld on the grinder um, holder that's going to go on the back of the lead, um, which is going to be right there. So let's get to welding.
I just finished welding and put everything back together on the trailer. As you can tell, here is the setup I have for the torch head. You can just slip it off, slip it back on, just like so. This bottom one, I'm gonna probably cut. Uh, if you can see it, sticks out a little bit farther past the things. I might leave it just so you don't whack off the uh, regulators. And then we have my dad's striker here. He always complains about not knowing where it is. So I just welded a chain link onto it, as you can see here. Clip it on, pretty easy. Over here, we have the all threads for the grinding wheels. Um, you can either make it where, you know, you can put slide them on or the ones that have the threads right on the discs and they will also thread onto this. Um, this is where the grinders can be hung. Right here, you can also put a nine inch grinder up here, uh, or I don't know if they make bigger grinders, but we have a nine inch. And then we also have the one that goes back here. So when you're working on the pipe or the vise, you can just easily hang it up there. You can also put your electrode, hang it on there, keep it out of the way. Um, we also might put a piece of rubber on this piece of angle iron down here later on so you can clamp your ground to it so you know where it is all the time. And that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thank you all for watching. Um, the trailer is going to be set like this for a while. I might not make any videos for a while also because my dad's gonna be using it to build some barns and some fence. So, you know, it might be two or three months before I actually make another video on it. But we have planned to paint it metallic brown for the uh, sides and then the pipe vise, the big vise on the back, some, a couple other stuff like the boxes that we sit in here and stuff we're gonna paint a blue color to match the Miller Bobcat welder so we got some plans for it also we're gonna get some new tail lights the lights that we have are probably from the 80s they need to be uh, just need to be new no reverse lights or anything on it right now so I'm probably gonna buy the uh, big circle lights that have the reverse ring on it and then the uh, stop and turn signal also built into it so thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next video.